Hello, it's XO Ashley Pink, otherwise known as Ashley. And today I am so excited because I finally got my new tripod. So for the old, for reference, the old one, which is great. It has a head for my phone. Um, this is it against my uh, A5 scribbles that matter. Um, I finally saved up and I got a fancy professional one. It is a Tarian Q550. And I'm a little bit struggling to figure out the best way to use it. Um, but I think I found a way. <laughs> So today we are going to plan July. Now this is literally for the sake of having July and some July weeklies in my bullet journal because I'm currently filming this on July 17th. So this is for the point of me having July. So it's a bit of back planning. Um, I have a couple things. So this is from Erin Floto Designs. This is my tabs. Uh, okay. Um, I also have this little, what's it called? Scrapbook piece from Erin Floto Designs. This number. And then I have a bunch of layering and journaling stickers uh, from Winterfield Studios. And I am no longer a PR girl for her. Uh, summer hit me hard and I felt it was best to step back from some of my PR commitments. So I only am PRing for ZZ Sticker Co. and Erin Floto. Um, you can use code Ashley15 for ZZ Sticker Co. And for Erin Floto, you can use code Ashley10 unless there's a sale going on. Um, but you can still use my link. Now with Erin Floto, I am an affiliate, meaning that I get money from your you using my link to purchase things or using my code. So please be aware of that. Whereas with ZZ Sticker Co, um, I get shop credit. So I don't really know how I'm gonna do this. Oh, apparently I have an Erin Floto stencil. Erin Floto has a lot of stencils. She is moving more towards um, digital stickers but she is going to be also selling stencils and she will still be doing stickers for her patrons. So this is me looking through to see what kits I have because I told myself I wasn't I was gonna do that. So I think I will use this. ZC sticker code the day I'm filming this, which is again, July 17th. It's probably coming out the next week. Um, uh, ZZ sticker co released a under the sea kit and in her under the sea kit it was all different blues and shades of greens so the blue is really just inspiring this is an Erin Floto kit I believe I got this back when I was her patron this is a few years old um so this is this has some different uh constellations different scripts here so this is different like task not task bars. I need. To, I want to zoom in. I actually can use the zoom feature on this one with this tripod. Wow. So, so you can see it has the drop bars, some icons, and then where it's schedule with some washi, another washi sheet. I'm gonna move back. Um, the Monday, the days of the week, more deco, and then different headers. As you can see, it's ch uh, her things have changed throughout the stuff, and then I will probably see if I can fit this in anywhere. So, let's get started. Also, I had to move my computer, so you probably see me use my phone to get inspiration, because I don't usually pre-plan a lot of this stuff. I just kind of have an idea of how I want stuff. So let's go so since it's a constellation kit i chose a constellation themed what's it called quote so i chose don't wait for the stars to align reach up and arrange them the way you want by pharrell williams i also layered 
um, washi strips, um, cut up, one is a cut up washi strip uh, from Panda, Purple Panda Planner, and the blue foily washi is washi tape, and it's from a Claire's pack. When I was at Toys R Us getting something for my niece and nephew a while back, they had a little Claire set up, and there was like some washi there that I got. I really like this, the way that I set up like the forest scene over the calendar and the way the constellations worked out. Again, all of with the exception of those other two shops, everything's from um, Aaron Flodo. I really like how this turned out. Same with the master task list and all that other stuff. This washi that I use for the master task list is um, from Wish, and then the brush strokes that I used are from ZZ Sticker Co. for the headers. I really like how this turned out. For habit trackers, I only tracked using my Finch app, Rosie. Rosie's the name of my Finch. It's a bird. Burb. <laughs> Um, and I, my monthly goals, I feel like I met this. I really like this kit and I feel like I was able to really be decorative and functional. My only regret is doing this in the middle of like towards the end of July. So I didn't really get to use too much of it. It's not on my screen yet, but for mood, I really, really like doing the circles with, um, the splotches and the splotches of color for my key, mood key. I like to put the number of days I was which um, mood so I can really track what my moods are. I find that's really helpful towards my mental health journey. My monthly review of cleaning and gratitude, I find I really like looking back on this just realistically and I like using the thinner washi strips. I like that she's including those. So this next page, honestly, I'm looking back on this on the first week of August. I didn't fill it out. I might go back and do it. I wanted to do a daily summary slash calendar look and I really like how it looked it turned out the washi strips are from purple panda planner and overall I really liked how this turned out I used my mild liner with mild liners which I actually used in my mood spread as well to mark in the numbers um, but again this is just a kit a, this is a spread that I love looking at, and if I were to sit down and actually do it, I'd love doing it, but I just, I don't. Next is me just setting up my finances. So my income section, my fixed expenses, my variables. I also did payments. Not sure I'm gonna keep doing that. And then weekly check-ins for each week. And like I've said in the past, what I do is um, I do it for the days of the month. So for example, the first like quote unquote week that I did was for the first to the ninth. And then I got into the rest of it. And then I did a transaction log, accidentally did like three, like four pages of a transaction log. Didn't really need that much. I probably only need two and a half, but I still did that. And I really like, like I, I've said in the past, this budget spread really works for me. I find I'm really able to focus on what I'm actually spending each week in each category. The only thing that I struggle with is the shopping category, mainly because that's just shopping, not just like frivolous shopping, but it's also shopping for things that I need. So things outside of groceries, like if I need pens or something like that, if I need something for work, things that wouldn't be considered health or grocery related um, or planner related. So that's kind of where I'm struggling with that. Um, and I am overspending still ridiculously each month, which is ridiculous. But I'm it's getting less and less if I'm actually tracking it, which I really am. And then after this, I went through to do my Monday through Sunday. I decided executively not to do weeklies, um, but I did a quick schedule for my class, my classes, and then a brain dump page just so I would have something there. And that is that. I hope you like this video. Please get a like, share, thumbs up, and all that have a blue. And I will see you later. Bye.